the big news before we get to the game this week, uh, Colton Vasek, who was previously committed to the Oklahoma Sooners in the 2023 class, a big piece to that 2023 class, a defensive end out of uh, the Austin area in Texas. Westlake. Westlake, thank you. Couldn't remember which lake it was. Um, he decides that he no longer wants to go to OU, flips his commitment today to the University of Texas, which was pretty much everyone kind of got the feeling after uh, after he took that visit to Austin. Um, I don't. We sure tried to talk ourselves out of it, didn't we? I know we did. We really did. Well, some more than others. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty heated about it. I mean, I, I no, you guys you were, remember. Hey, I, 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 I oh, wanted Brent remember. to rescind the offer right then and there. And then there were some other folks on this podcast, co-hosts, all of you, to say, "It's what else is he supposed to do? He lives in Austin. It's not a big deal. Let's see how this plays out. No, it was a big deal. And if Brent rescinded the offer in that moment, he would have looked awesome right now. I don't know if I said that it wasn't a big deal, but, like, again, I – you're right. I did say, what are you supposed to do? Because literally, what are you going to do? Only no, one do. of us was latched onto by Texas Twitter and <laughs> added <laughs> in many, many, yeah. many, many tweets with Colton Vasek. So right. yeah. I'm not sure that Patrick's take really was like the productive one in the end. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't. Texas Twitter <laughs> got you to delete your tweet. Pat. yeah <laughs> so, that's man. true savage i savage. man i just want to hear i mean now that we're talking about this we have one really <laughs> terrible colton vasek quote oh my but god i want to so i want to see like longer form interviews with him I see know. if we get patrick name dropped that'd be and, nice uh, that would wouldn't be it be great man he <laughs> that, was like i'd like yeah, it i lot. actually i found this podcast yeah guys. and that's <laughs> what that. made my decision yeah. this one one was guy. tweet from an OU guy, <laughs> so yeah. I should decommit. So I did it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this this is a quote from Colton Vasek, courtesy of Hayes Fawcett of uh, On Three. I think he is On Three. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. Uh, he said, uh, "Quote: I've grown up a UT fan my entire life. When I went to go see the OU Texas game uh, as an OU recruit, it just really didn't feel right to me at all. Deep down, I wanted to be playing for the team wearing burnt orange." End quote. Okay. Then why'd you commit? You know that's. So we've talked about Brent's policy, commitment policy before. This is why he has it. This is what a commitment means. You're not committed. And I'm not knocking the kid. He's 17, 18 years old. You don't know what you want to do. That's fine. You're going to flip and do that. But why commit? And then two months later, you're like, ah, nah, never mind. You weren't really committed then in my eyes. You you weren't because that's not what a commitment is. Yeah, I mean, I... I'm um, uh, if he grew up a you know he grew up a Texas fan his dad I believe played for Texas yeah. right like all of these things were going Texas's way in the first place this is not the first OU Texas game he has been to like no. I guarantee you maybe this is the first one as like the OU recruit as he says I don't know I think this quote's kind of garbage um I think it's just kind of like a cop out I don't think he ever really wanted to come to OU and you know maybe he got caught up in the moment and decided to commit at a certain time and felt like going against the grain and then you know had arch in his ear and had his dad in his ear who knows we don't know the story and we will never know the story but i think you're right mason i you know don't commit at all if you have any kind of doubts just don't commit i know you're 17 but i mean this just isn't it's not great taste in my opinion i think he wanted to commit to ou because he thought ou would be really good and I think our re- current record has a lot to do with him decommitting. And the, I mean, the way Texas losing looked, to Texas in that game. Yeah, losing to 49-0. Texas to not, does not help. And I mean, if you look at this Texas team right now with Quinn Ewers, like they have a path forward that is probably easier to see than the Oklahoma team. Sure, they weren't completely gutted last year. I mean, sure. I mean, yeah, but that's part of it. Th- but we be, we beat part of Texas decision. eight of the last ten years that he has probably watched. Yeah. I don't I don't understand how this one year can matter unless there is a bunch of situations going on with like you know Arch and his ear, like I said, nil going on. Texas has a ton of money. You know, there's a lot of things that are attractive about Texas, and yeah, during that game they beat the hell out of us, and I I. I get that, but they have not beat the hell out of us recently in the past 10 years. So 
Well, I, I think that's kind of the thing that we're all sort of saying is if Oklahoma had been better this year, then that's we're keeping Colton Bassick. If yeah, the game maybe. is 49 nothing the other direction, we're keeping Colton Bassick. But there are enough factors with him specifically leading him towards UT that it wasn't going to take a lot for that mm-hmm. flip to take place. There's all the family ties. There's all the locality ties. And uh, suddenly they got the best quarterback prospect too, who's in his ear. Mm-hmm. And Oklahoma is bad, especially against Texas. I mean, good luck to him. Good luck to him. Um, yeah. I Off the dome, do y'all know the last successful Texas defensive lineman? No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because I know Perry on Winfrey and Isaiah Thomas got drafted last year. Uh, Okafor, Okafor is the last one that comes to mind, and he was early 2010s, I hey. think. Colton, um, Colton is super uh, duper talented. We were psyched to get him. I good luck to him. Yeah, good luck to him.